good evening all of you today i'll be explaining to you about logarithmic functions exponentiation in r and also to that i will tell you about e or euler's constant or euler's number e in r so let us start so the function for finding logarithm is log okay log you can take log and then i am typing log of 1 so you know logarithm of 1 is 0 always okay so this is to the base e okay is natural logarithm and there are different functions of different types of logarithmic functions like log to the base 10 again that's also zero and then another type is log to the base 2 that's also zero okay so logarithm to to any base one is always zero okay so you can give it a, you can get the result as a list also log 1 2 5 okay so this will, you can get the result as a list so now let us store this value to a variable x okay log in log to the log 1 2 5 okay so i am going to find the values of log the values of 1 2 3 4 5 I store that in x. Okay, you can see the value. Now, this many values are in x. So, this logarithm logarithm is the inverse of exponentiation. So, if you if you get, if you find the exponent of this list, you should get one to five. So, you can see that as as a function of s e x p. and then you are giving the variable as x okay you get 1 2 3 4 5 so that, so both are inverse that's what i told you so now what uh, you are going to what i'll show you now is that logarithm to the base 10 1 to 5 okay you get one one list and i'm going to store this value to x okay so you go x and now you're going to find the exponent okay so you will then get 1 2 3 4 5 5 okay so that's what here uh, now what i did is that i did log them to the base 10 okay and i stored the values in x and then i tried to do the exponent of that list x but i didn't get 1 to 1 2 5 but i didn't get 1 to 5 i got some other value so why so let us see why it happened so suppose you give exponent of 1 Okay, you get two point seven one eight two eight two. So, so what what you're doing here is that you something raised to one. Okay, so this exp bracket one means something raised to one. You did and the value you got is two point seven one eight two eight two. So this is you what the function exponent one right uh, did is that it is. Two point seven one eight two eight two raised to one. So you can see what you're getting. Okay, you got this. So let us try if this raised to two. What do what do I copy this one? I paste it here and then raised to two. Okay, the the caret sign two. You see, you got the same thing. Seven point three eight nine zero five seven. So, 
exp x2 means that is nothing but 2.718282 raised to 2 okay we will try 3 okay or this raised to 3 is 20 point something okay so let us try x same 20 point 8554 okay so now what is the question i asked you i asked the question x we found to the base 10 and then you are trying to do s prime you didn't get 1 to 5 so how to get that okay we want to get 1 to 5 so what to do so here it was like two points two you, you i'm copying this one 2.718282 that is the i'll tell you that is the value of e but esp raised to one esp one you go got this one so something raised to one that something is 2.718282 this number is called the Euler's constant or e so let us see this i'm copying that number and then rise to x okay okay i'm just you got the same one so what happened is that i got a value when i found when i did logarithm to the base 10 1 to 5 i got these values okay and when i did this one this value this list this one Euler's constant raised to this function i got this one okay so this list i got so i didn't get one to five because s prime this exp function always do something some some number that number is this one okay 2.718282 raised to this list that's what this function is doing so so what to do when if you have to get the one one two three four five that is just give 10 raised to x you'll get one two three four five so that is it so when you're doing some some logarithm to the base means you have to give that number raised to logarithm numbers then you will get the the original number back okay so i got i will do once again this one x i am finding i am storing the value file is of logarithmic from x 1 to 5 okay 1 to 5 in x and then if i want to get the x is value of x is this one is the value of x and if you want to get back one two three four five the inverse of the logarithm so you cannot use the exp, exp function you have to use 10 raised because it is log to the base 10 10 raised to x you give you get one two three four suppose we do to the base 2 okay there is a function called log to the base 2 okay I am finding that x I got this value now 2 2 2 raise to x I will get 1 2 3 4 4 okay I hope you understood so so I will just recap what I told you I told logarithmic function and exponential function are inverse functions so in R there are uh, log log to the base 10 log to the base 2 functions are there for logarithm but for exp or effort to find the exponent there's only one function exp that do e raised to what value we give e raised to 1 e raised to 2 like that so the value of e is 2.718282 raised to that okay so now uh, log function has got one more uh, 
argument that is suppose you are giving x okay now this is a natural logarithm but we can give base as equal to 6 okay okay so i am finding logarithm of 1 to 5 to the base 6 so now what will be the value of value in x this is a values in the x so how will we get the 1 2 1 2 3 4 5 back so that is we did before we did 10 raised to 2 raised to and then e raised to like that here we have to do 6 raised to x you get 1 2 3 4 okay so this is the logarithmic and inverse function uh, logarithmic and exponential exponential how to use that so we can find to any base okay so uh, we can give the value here to any base and then you can see so now one more thing i'll tell you how to print the how to get the value of e in r okay so the value of e you can get just s prime one okay something raised to one that something is 2.718282 or you can write a function so uh, this Euler's constant is nothing but sum of 1 by n factorial okay you, have, you can find always the e equal to you can say e equal to I will tell you e equal to e equal to 1 by 0 factorial plus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial plus 1 by 3 factorial plus it goes on okay so this is the value of e so if you want to just get the value of e you can write a function so i have written a function here this is a function okay e make so e make from this is a function i did e make so what is that uh, e make it's a function and option, so to ignore the warnings i gave this one and then in a loop i have put e equal to e plus 1 by factorial n so this e is given to to get it added that's why e equal to e plus i given okay and return e then we can call here that function sum k equal to e make so you just type k you, you get that value this is a you can see here environment how what yeah this is the value of k okay so suppose now i'm finding logarithm and i, I can i will show you that x logarithm of 1 to 10 okay i got this x value now i before I showed you S plan X, I got 1, 2, 10. Same way I can do, so K value is same as E. So I can do K raised to X. Same thing again, 1 to 10. So this, this is how we can make our own E or you can get it from, from the function EXP and then get this value so this is how we can do log and exponent okay so just uh, just i'll tell you the basics of this logarithm function okay you can see log one okay zero log ten 
Open Zero Now to work Okay, so logarithm of any logarithm to, to any base one is zero. Okay, so that means anything raised to zero is one. Okay, that's it. Any any number or any value raised to zero is one. Okay, how we can prove that? Or just I'll tell you that proof and then I'll stop. Yes, that is not not much difficult. I'll just show you that. Any number, let us take any number a by a equal to one. Okay, anything divided by anything. Okay, same number is one. So this is a one divided by a one. This is equal to a one into a minus one. This is equal to a one minus one. Okay, equal to one. This is a raised to zero equal to one. So any number any anything raised to one any number raised to zero into one okay this is a proof okay any any number divided by same number will give you one that is a raised to one divided by a raised to one that can be written as a raised to one into a raised to minus one. So this is a raised to one minus one equal to one. That is a raised to zero equal to one. This is the proof. Okay. I hope it's clear. So this is about this is uh, about exponentiation logarithmic and e value how to find the e value i told you about the formula of e e equal to 1 by 0 factorial plus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial plus 1 by 3 factorial like that to infinity infinity so this is the function for i for finding the value of e by our own here you can see that 1 by n factorial n moves from 0 to 10,000 I put like that ok I hope it is clear to you if you have got any doubt please comment and reply ok thank you